Hey, this is Bruce Gabriel with 101 PowerPoint Tips for Business Managers. And today's tip is how to make triangular shaped tables. Now in my workshops I use this triangular shaped table showing the different ways you can structure a presentation. Of course storytelling is the best, but there are other ways you can structure a presentation. The question is how do you make these triangular shaped tables? Well let me show you. First you start off with your triangle and then you create the table that you want to go inside there. And then you stretch it so that it fits within the triangle. And you often find this top row needs to really be uh, pulled down quite large because you need a lot of space in this triangle. And then you can resize this and make it fit again. And you might have to add a hard return to make this fit where you want it to. And then you resize this table so it's going to fit exactly where you want inside the um, triangle. So that looks pretty good. Now how do you get rid of this stuff on the outside? So you go ahead and you're going to copy it and then you paste it, it's paste special, either as a PNG file, a GIF, or a JPEG. I'm going to go ahead and do a PNG file. Now after you've done that, you've now saved this as an image. And you see there's a little bit of a white border around the table. You want to get rid of that. So you go to the Format tab, Crop, and you just bring that down. You just crop out that uh, that white invisible frame around the picture. Okay. Now you right click on it, go to Save as Picture, and go ahead and call this maybe Table, and you save it. Go back to your triangle, go to the Format tab, Shape Fill, and you choose Picture. And then you just go and you grab that table, and, and there you go, it's all done. And you can grab that, you can resize it, and so it's a lovely thing. Now the one problem with this is that this text is not editable. So if you want to go back and change any of that text, you can't do it by saving it as a picture. So here's another way you can do that. Just as before, you have your table, and you uh, resize it. Again, making sure that you have enough space up here for your top row text. And you just resize it so that everything fits within the triangle. And then you just delete your text. Once again, you copy the table, paste special, save it as a PNG file. And this time I'm not going to crop the outside. I just want to show you what happens when you don't crop the outside. Right click on it, save as picture, and I'm going to call this uh, table 2, save. And now you see what happens is you go to your triangle, go to format, shape fill, fill with a picture, and grab table 2. And so, once again, you've got this table. Now, you can see what happens is that when you don't crop that uh, white space around the table, it shows up inside your triangle. You don't want that. So make sure you do do your cropping. And now you just have to add your text. So there you have it. And then, once again, you can just grab everything. And if you need to resize it, you can. Uh, the text resizes with it. You might need to play around a little bit. But now your text is editable. All right, and it's just that easy. I'm Bruce Gabriel. For more information about my book and more tips on using PowerPoint to influence and persuade in the boardroom, you can go to speakingppt.com.